2 billion views so far, and BuzzFeed described PragerU as, get this, quote, one of the biggest, most influential, yet least understood forces in online media, end of quote. Dennis Prager will be testifying before Congress on July the 16th. Dennis, what are you going to say in your opening statement? I ha I, well, first of all, the interesting, well, I don't know if it's interesting. To me, it's interesting. I, I hope it's interesting to you and your listeners. I, I have given many thousands of speeches, and this will be the first one that I will read. I I want it to, to be precise. I don't, uh, as as comfortable as I am with extemporaneous speaking or, or you using notes, which is what I always do. Uh, in, in this case, I I know it will be transcribed. I know it will be videoed. I know it will go viral. And so I am going to measure every word. As of now, I've not written it yet. I, I think a lot, and then I write fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the I think I'm going to make it uh, at least in, 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 in serious part of uh, personal. I, I these senators don't don't know me. Or if they do, they vaguely know of anything about me. They don't, but they don't know me. And I think if they understand me and what makes me tick, I think it will add a tremendous amount of validity to how vile what they're doing to me, and obviously to something much larger than me, PragerU, uh, is. And so that's I'm, I'm thinking of doing that uh, because uh, when you bring it down to the human level, it's sort of disarming to people. Well, so here's the person they're suppressing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've, I've devoted my life to goodness. To uh, I, I I have written a million words. I, I can you point to anything that I've ever said that that is that that is hateful, uh, that is bigoted, that uh, forget Nazi, just just mm -hmm. even just morally wrong, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think it's it's disarming. And then I know what they'll do. My suspicion is what they'll do is what they did when Candace Owens spoke. Uh, they immediately uh, took one quote from her, and that way changed the topic. So I'm prepared for that. I'll I'll defend anything I wrote, but I'll say, look, you. What you're doing is changing the topic. America's free speech is threatened, and you want to find a, a line here or there in, in 40 years of writing. Uh, that's that's the aim of this of this session. You don't want to confront the threat to free speech. So, uh, it, it, you know, that's what I'm anticipating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dennis, some years ago, I gave a, a talk before the Human Rights Commission we have here in Los Angeles. They asked me to come and talk about uh, what I thought was, were the problems of race and racism in Los Angeles. And, Dennis, when I walk in, I could just see the commissioner's arms folded. They, I've been introduced as this conservative, and, they, and one of them was an, happened to be an Asian-American woman. And I could just tell, I could just see the scorn. And so, Dennis, I spent the first minute or two talking about some of the things I've been called. I've been called an Uncle Tom, a bootlicking Uncle Tom, a foot-shuffling bootlicking Uncle Tom, a bug-eyed foot-shuffling bootlicking Uncle Tom, the Antichrist, a coconut, an Oreo. And Dennis, as I was speaking, her whole body language changed. She dropped her arms. I could tell she felt sorry for me. I wasn't going for that, but I was amazed that once she saw me as a human being, her whole reaction was different. Wow. I can't tell you how... Uh how important that is for me to hear because it, it you just we 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 we, we we've got we've got to go dennis thank you very much for the, for joining us good luck